Hey guys, um, back again. It's our fourth video of the day. Um, this is a 1967 Ford Mustang Coupe. Absolutely beautifully done in the uh, tropical turquoise. Uh, brand new American Racing uh, Torque Thrust Chrome Rims, BFG Raised White Letter Tires. Just a fantastic looking turnkey California car. Now this is an, uh, I want to say an older paint job on this car, but it shines beautifully and has the look. Um, the previous owner has owned it for approximately three, four years. And uh, he did a lot of the, um, I think he might have went ahead and put the wheels on it. Just did a ton of chrome on it. Wheel well trim, rocker molding, um, the chrome here. Just did a lot of different stuff with it. Go ahead and fire it up a minute. No, this has a single pipe going back to the dual exhaust out the back. Um, very nice looking car. I mean, if you're looking for a turnkey, super solid, a uh, 67 Mustang in a beautiful color. This is it, guys. As we look at our front end here, it does have the front chin spoiler, which is a nice uh, uh, addition to it. It's got the little uh, aftermarket GT fog lights. The front balance is in beautiful shape. The horse and corral's all new. Uh, the chrome rings around the headlights are brand new. It does have the deluxe hood with the turn signals working in the hood. When I say an older paint job, if we look up close, there's a couple little paint chips right along here on the edge. So not perfect, but guys, you could take this to any local car show, cruise night, um, just anywhere and be super proud of it. It is an awesome looking car. It gets attention everywhere it goes, just with the color. The metallic in this uh, turquoise is done beautifully laid out, excellent, it's not striped in any way. Um, as we look up and down the sides of the, the hood defender, that matches up beautifully. Both sides line up great, even in the back. <clears throat> Most of these Mustangs do not line up nice back here, guys, and this one does. All right, guys, you ready for this? This is the best part about the car, I think. As we open up the hood, I mean, this engine compartment is just filled up. It's got the California emission still on it. I mean, look how clean the engine bay is. It's got all the original stickers on it. A Ford Motor uh, Racing uh, chrome valve covers, chrome breather. If you could buy it in chrome, this guy did it. It's got working uh, Ford air conditioning, power steering, uh, power disc brakes. All the brakes are all new front and rear. We just reset up the back brakes. It's got kind of a nice cap. Those are the uh, temperature on the radiator. A uh, motor, previous owner said the motor was all completely overhauled before he bought it. He went ahead and put these really nice hood hinges on it. Bottom side of the hood is painted just as nice as the rest of the car. All dyno matted in between. Um, it's also dyno matted in the trunk as well. Again, California car. So if you go ahead and you look at our floors on our website, the pictures, coyoteclassics.com, frame rails, floor pans, trunk, everything super solid. 289 emblem looks great. If we look up close, you can see just a little paint chip right up there. Uh, tires are like new, disc brakes on the front. Our uh, fender to uh, door gap is in great shape from up top to bottom. No uh, blisters, no bubbles, no issues anywhere on the doors or lower fender corner here. Super nice all along the driver's side. And this is the kind of stuff, guys, most people don't show. I mean, if it's got an issue, we want to show you, and it's usually always down low. Um, so here's the next thing. We got a paint chip here, another little tiny chip here, two little paint touch-ups on the body line. How nice the door shut. Tons of tread in those tires. As we look at the roof, the roof is super straight as well. Again, just nice and smooth. We buffed it out nice. 
back glass is good. But just a little bit of glue residue from his underlayment in the trunk there. Um, we have uh, two tiny little paint chips right here in the lower rear quarter. Other than that, quarter is excellent over top of the wheel well is excellent. Look how nice and straight it is. Very nice straight car. <coughs> it's got Magnaflow tips. Um, back bumper looks good. Tail light chrome is new. Um, trunk lid chrome is all new. That looks excellent as well. Top of the trunk lid, there's no uh, issues, paint issues whatsoever there. Our gaps are really nice. Our gap is excellent. Look at this gap here, guys. You can just tell this is an original, solid California car. It's not been messed with, not been cut up. Well, obviously, it's been repainted and stuff, but look how nice it all lines up in the back. Lower rear quarter is in excellent shape. Over the wheel well, the paint's excellent all the way through here. All the way in this area down in here is all nice. The lower rear quarter, lower door. Lower fender, all rust free, perfect. We do have a few little paint chips right there on the body line, this little door ding. Same thing, just a couple little tiny chips that I'm gonna touch up. I mean, that's the only thing wrong when I say that it's got older paint. What a beautiful car, beautiful body. Just has a few little touch ups. Um, there is some marks, guys. If a guy wants to uh, really make this nice, you probably want to replace the uh, wing window. It just has some little pits in the wing window here. Other than that, the windshield looks good. The chrome around the windshield looks really nice. Um, he went ahead and put these on. These just pull them straight off, but that uh, just protects them when they're outside so you don't get any water down in there. Again, look how nice this fits. Back of the hood, top of the fender, the top of the door, our gap all the way down. Nice and even. Glass is really clear. Again, the door opens and closes nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Check out this interior. As we're going all the way through here, and like I said, the car's been repainted, but uh, other than that, it's just a super clean car. It does have the deluxe door panels, the GT door panels. And the chrome is beautiful on them. Door panels all look like they're brand new. The lights work in there. It's got the GT. And that's the thing, this is just a, not a GT Mustang, but it's got all the GT stuff as far as our dash and door panels and nice interior. Uh, air conditioning works. It's got a brand new, this is all new, guys. Um, digital radio. Inside the glove box has a little cover for that just to protect it from the sun. Carpet's in good shape. Got the nice Mustang uh, floor mats all the way around. It's got the nice console with cup holders. Horn works. Got the factory speaker up there. Um, temp gauge works, got great oil pressure. Uh, clock does not work, gas gauge works. 79,320 miles. Um, guys, judging by the undercarriage, everything else, I'm pretty sure that's original miles, not 179. It's got aftermarket. Uh, Kind of a stainless steel brake pedal, gas pedal, emergency brake pedal, um, washer, or the, I'm sorry, not the washer. Yeah, that is a washer. The washer pedal is there. Um, also, you have the uh, bright indicator. It does have the overhead console. Our map lights work, both of them. Like I said, this interior is super nice. The headliner with the overhead console is beautiful. No wrinkles in it. Back balance is great. We have a seam split on the original style seat right here. It's just the stitching. 
I know from experience, I put a GT interior in one before, and it is super expensive. These hard plastic pieces here are ridiculous. I don't know if they're like 400 bucks for the pair or something, but they're ridiculously expensive. So the GT interior, guys, if you want a GT interior, it's very, very expensive. And this one has an excellent interior, and it's all GT. Even the little chrome pieces right here. Back shelf's excellent. Seat in the back is excellent. It does have the seat belts tucked in back there. It's got the retractables in the front. Um, door jam paint is just as nice as the exterior paint. We have had, just on this car alone, Monday and Tuesday, today's Tuesday afternoon, we've had probably eight to nine people on this car. So it's not gonna last very long, I don't think. It's a beautiful car. Um, just it's got everything. Air conditioning, California emissions, super solid floors, the right wheels, the dual exhaust, the deluxe hood. I mean, GT interior and the right color, guys. There's a lot of red ones, a lot of black ones, but there's not many turquoise ones. Both doors shut beautifully. Here's your factory color, <clears throat> color codes. Color's not original to the car. Uh, color code was an I. Um, is it I? Yeah, I. Uh, trim is 6A, date is 28B, DSO 71, axle, axle is zero, and uh, trans is W. <coughs> Excuse me. Corner of the door, cross free. Bottom of the door is awesome. Door panel is beautiful. The seats are beautiful as you sit in this car, it's comfortable. It's got the correct Mustang sticker here. I'm sure you guys agree. Um, agree with me, this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous Mustang. Window rolls up and down really nice. If a guy wants to be fussy with it, needs a new roof rail rubber, that's original. 79,000 mile rubber, so that is hard. And if you want to be picking on it, you got some little uh, um, pits in this uh, wing window chrome. But this seat is perfect. <coughs> it sits really comfortably. All the new chrome GT stuff on the dash. Um, all the paint on the dash, paint on the steering column is excellent. Uh, power steering works great. Wipers work. Let's go ahead and turn the air on. Jack just charged the air and said it worked, so we'll see how cold it gets. Temp gauge works nice, not overheating. Uh, amp gauge and oil pressure gauge all work well. So all of our speeds work on that fan. I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit so I don't have to shout over it. Um, dash pad, we didn't talk about it. Dash pad is excellent as far as no rips or tears, but just like a lot of them, you can just see it just gets bubbled up just a little bit over that speaker. A little warp there. Check this out, man. How many of these have the overhead console? Not very many. And all that stainless is like new. So when you put it on, um, a lot of times you don't want to take it back off again to fix a gauge because then it gets scratched up. This one looks perfect. Now the previous owner went ahead and just went through everything mechanically, the brakes, put a brand new uh, two barrel carburetor on it. And when he did that, I mean, he said he spent like 500 bucks on the carburetor. I said, how come we didn't put a four barrel on it? He said, well, he just wanted to keep it original. So um, that's what he did. A speedometer works great. Here's our brakes, guys. Power disc, absolutely no pull left or right. Rear view mirror, super tight, nice and clean. Air is blowing cold, guys. If you want to go ahead and turn it high, blows out nice air there. Turn it down below. It was a remote uh, mirror car, guys, from the factory, but uh, it's got a standard mirror on it now, which is I like better anyway. The remote mirrors just seem to move around quite a bit. So yeah. The whole block two barrel, who cares? Look at this thing. This thing rocks. I mean, 
I wouldn't let a two barrel stop you. Kick down works good, shifts it right down to second. Wow, this car is fantastic. Guys, when it came in, there was a, I noticed a little vibration to it. Um, and that's always hard to find, hard to get rid of. Um, we found out the transmission mount was just a little weak. Went ahead and replaced that. It doesn't even drive like the same car. Jack also uh, set the back brakes up. Um, yeah, the brakes are excellent. Stop you on a dime and they're power. Great acceleration. The steering is excellent. Um, I've got not one bad thing to say about this car mechanically, guys. So great looking car, beautiful interior, super solid undercarriage, runs and drives fantastic. This thing will just be able to jump in and get you wherever you wanna go. Great car, guys. Fly in, drive it home. Um, check us out, coyoteclassics.com. Thanks for watching.